Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about adventure for you guys today. Right now I'm in Pasadena, California, about to go on over to a video game convention. I believe it's called the SoCal Retro Game Con. If I'm Expo. not mistaken, Expo. Expo. And I'm with a special guest Jesus. right now. Expo, con, same thing, isn't it? What's the difference between an expo and a con? It's an exposition. They're expositioning things. Right? Andrew's back in the house, guys. No, but we're over here at the Pasadena Convention Center right now, about to head on in uh, to the Retro Game Expo. There's some cool YouTubers here today, like oh, Boogie2988, the a Angry Video Game Nerd. Yeah, Metal Jesus Rocks. Yeah, like video all- Video Game Historian. Yeah, all these cool different, you know, video game YouTubers. So, I'm gonna see if I can talk to one or two of them in there and see what kind of cool retro stuff we come across. Well, guys, we just got into the convention. We just picked up our uh, badges right here. Let's head on in to the Retro Game Expo and see what this is all about. Check this out. You can even come and play some old retro games uh, over here on old school, uh, you know, analog televisions. As you can tell over here, there's like a, a big section where people can game play. Now that is pretty, pretty cool. But there's a lot of really cool retro things going on here. That's why it's called, you know, retro, you know, expo or whatever. But that's the venture off into this convention and uh, see all the retroness. And I hate this little red dot on my head, man. Oh, pimples, pimples, pimples. Check this out. You can get old school classic systems over here and some old retro uh, games like, you know, old school Nintendo ones, like in the box themselves, old school Wheel of Fortune, and some stuff that's not as old, but still cool uh, nonetheless. And I believe this might be like Japanese of like, this like a mixture of all different kinds of games, like Sonic and things, but I could be wrong here, but that that's, that's really kind of cool. There's a lot of like, you know, like covers that I remember from like my childhood, like Duck Hunt, the baseball, the, Especially this baseball one, I remember. All right, guys, I'm over here at the Retro Game Con with James Rolfe right now, the angry video game nerd. My question is, man, since you've been on the platform so long, I've been, I've been doing it for about 10 years myself. Um, how do you think the platform has changed since when you started and how it is now? Oh, a lot. A lot's changed. Uh, I mean, do you think it changed for the good or for the bad? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. A lot, it's just different like there's a lot more people doing it for one thing that that's a big difference there's a lot more people now yeah because back when you were doing it you were like one of the main yeah, guys that started it yeah and, and then but i also remember it wasn't like the idea of monetizing it was the, the craziest idea ever it felt like well that, that would never happen you never get paid to do it mm -hmm. um over the years i saw that slowly start to evolve where now, the idea of monetizing it is now like a possibility when it wasn't before i remember yeah, like, yeah the first year nerd videos was totally just for fun, uh, for yeah. shits and giggles, for yeah, fun. you know, it was just for fun, yeah. But out of all the stuff you've done, what do you think is the most uh, thing you're more passionate about now uh, than you were then? Um, what I'm most passionate about? Yeah, about, oh. you know, out there doing, because I know you're out, you're creating films now. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, the, the biggest thing for me, yeah, film. Yeah, make sure yeah. you guys check out the Angry Video Game oh, Nerd movie that's out now. Oh, where, yeah, where, yeah. where can people buy it at? I'm sure they already know, but... Oh, uh... Blu-ray should be on Amazon. There's many other places. I think it's on Steam. It was on GOG. It was on a, a Vimeo. Mm -hmm. um, they, they pretty much get it on all the platforms, I right? Think so Amazon Prime, uh, or just Am regular Amazon Video, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I forget now. I'm trying to like remember all the yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. But I just want to say thanks yeah. for taking the time to talk oh, to me yeah, for a no second, problem. brother. I, I grew up watching your stuff and oh, thank you. keep yeah. doing what you're doing, man. All right, man. We got Mario in the house and he's all jacked up. I think he put down the pizza and the pasta and just hit the gym like crazy, huh? Ugh. We do. Is Luigi the same way or is he still kind of? Uh, nah, he's player two status. He's player two status. He's player two status. Well, guys, I'm heading out of the convention now just for a second. I just got a, a an important call from a friend saying he's outside and he wants to you know talk for a moment or two let's go now I came across my friend mark torgo you know melvin the mop boy from the toxic avenger oh my god what look you? who i ran into the one of the stars of toxic tutu yeah man we, brendan we, mitchell yeah we wanted to get together and talk about this because a movie uh, that we you know that we've made together or, or that i have a cameo in toxic tutu is now out on DVD right now, and it's the story of Mel you know Melvin the Mob Boy and what he's been up to now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, it's it's available right now at chemicalburn.org in the horror section, or it's on pre-sale everywhere, including Amazon. But you can actually get it right now mm -hmm. at chemicalburn.org. I can't I can't wait to check this out because this is the last movie I made before I started doing the weight loss and stuff. So I'm like at my absolute biggest in here, I think, right? Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> but like, is it, so is there anything about this you can tell people about that that haven't seen or don't really know much about it? Well, it's uh, for those that. Don't don't know anything about it it's the almost true story of whatever became of Melvin the mob boy from the toxic Avenger yeah and that's me so uh, what have I been up to for 30 years is basically what this movie is all about and this and this uh, like it's like it's like a documentary it's, style film right it's kind of a documentary style but um, it really is a fictional um, piece um, mm -hmm. a lot of the actors from toxic Avenger are in it Lloyd Kaufman's up in here and everything Lloyd Kaufman is a has a huge role in this. Mm -hmm. um, I've, been, I've been dying to see this for years. I think what we filmed this like four years ago. God, I think it was five years ago. Five years ago or something. <laughs> yeah, but now it's it's finally coming out. And you said you said you brought a T-shirt. I brought a T-shirt for you for your skinny self, you. That's cool, man. A toxic tutu shirt. That's so so rad. But Mark, man, I just want to say thanks uh, for coming by. And do you have you have social media at all? People can follow you on. Yeah. Um, Facebook, Mark Torgel, Facebook, Toxic Tutu, mm -hmm. um, also ToxicTutu.com. Yeah, make sure you guys check it out. I have all the links down below if you guys want to get a copy of this movie. It's so cool, man, to be friends with the Toxic Avenger himself. <laughs> guys, I'm still over here looking at all these retro different booths that they have here. And check this out, man. An old school Nightmare on Elm Street, like, magazine or comic or something. That That's so cool. I've never seen that before. Just wanted to showcase that for you horror fans out there. Childhood wet movie right now is uh, geeking out a little. What? What? I've been able to play this. Look at that price tag. Oh, was that four hundred? Is that four bucks? It's a really, really, really rare game. Does four, this say? This, does it say four dollars or four hundred dollars? It is four hundred dollar bills. Wait, wait. This is four hundred dollars. Yes, sir. That, yeah. Uh, like yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Let's check out this booth they have over here of like these cool. You know, custom pins. The ones that were standing out to me, of course, was uh, the Michael Myers one right here for Ethan and uh, you know Alex. That is absolutely you know fascinating <laughs> over the character. But for me, it's Beavis and Butthead, man. But these are all custom art. They even have it like printed out uh, over here. Like, they even have like a Ric Flair Macho Man mashup. How cool is that? But where, where can people like get this stuff online? Uh, you can go to thepindies.com. That is thepindies.com. Yeah, make sure you guys like, check them out if you guys are into this this cool custom art, man. Check out these mashups, like the Hocus Pocus one. Oh yeah, they have the Hocus Pocus one, like mashed up with the Simpsons. There's the Sanderson sisters. How dope is that? Still over here at the con. This convention's Cam crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, yeah, you can't even keep was your there glasses an earthquake? on. Oh no, it's just the craziness of this convention. <laughs> it wasn't an earthquake, it was just the woo man. Throw the crowd with them on, on or off. Baby, yeah, you look good whenever, any way you want to be, okay? Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> so what you been up to, my man? You still doing your... Hanging out, hang, doing videos. Doing your things. Not daily anymore, but just occasionally. Yeah, yeah, whenever you... Occasionally. Get the urge. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just a Some fun... Some days at NNY. Yeah, it's just a, a fun outlet to express ourselves when we get out there doing some things. And yeah, man, have you uh, bought any video games? I haven't bought any, but I was very tempted to buy a Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, the original? The original one? Yeah. The one that's like 130 bucks. Oh, used. yeah. But there's like $50 ones that are like probably in better shape than the ones the newer yeah. ones. One day I'll go down deep down the Nintendo rabbit hole again. Yeah, but since we're at the game convention, what is one of your favorite games that you remember playing as a kid? Was it like old school Nintendo ones or like 64? Old school Nintendo. Yeah? Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, RC Pro-Am. My all-time favorite is Legendary Wings. Yes, I know we're at a video game convention, and I'm a movie guy, and I was hoping to come across at least some sort of physical media when it comes to movies here. And I think I did, just a little. We got some old school Disney clamshells up in this piece, and of course, they have a bin of old school NES games right here, guys. Like, they have them everywhere over here. And I saw something in here that I've always, you know, you guys know I love the movie The Goonies, right? The Goonies is my favorite movie of all time. Bruh, The Goonies 2. What? You see this right here? We have an old school, like, living room set up <laughs> right here with, like, a couple of dudes, you know, just playing a couple of old school uh, Nintendo games over here. And, and that, I don't know, I, I kind of dig that little, that little setup right there. It looks like maybe Freddy Krueger might come out of that TV and say, welcome to primetime, bitch, on it. But I know this is the wrong convention, though. 
never know though. Never you never know. know. You just never know. All right, guys, we're heading on in to the VIP room over here. Let's go in. Oh, let's go in. Let's go in and see what happens. Are we going to get in trouble? I'm, I'm getting some Pac-Man cookies right now. I'm over but here. Food, and that was the only thing that was important because I needed some or I was going to pass out. <laughs> Adam, here, here's your cookies, Adam. You. I got, I got, no, no, look, one. look, look, I'm getting you one. Here you, you go. One of each? Is there a Mr. and a Mrs.? There's a Mrs. There's only Mrs., I think, oh, as of right now. We're all Mrs. There yeah, were Mrs. earlier. Mrs., yeah. But you know what? I'll, I'll have a cookie. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully, I don't eat the napkin. Mm. They're kind of hard. Yeah, they're a little, they're a little crunchy. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little, a little crunchy. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I started with her face. Now I'm working her way through the bow, which is the lingerie of the Miss Pac Man. But do you, do you want to get to her dot? Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to eat Mrs. Pac Man's dot. What you want to do is you really want to flick it with your tongue, just gently. <laughs> like and this? Then, and then do. Do your alphabet. A. 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 I don't know, but I licked Miss Pac Man's dot. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I should have bit it though. Popped it, right it right off. I popped her dog off. Popped it right off. Yeah, see that? Look, it's right there. Ooh. <laughs> okay, guys. Boogie just pulled out this like big old chocolate bar out of his out of his at, pocket. I was at lunch. Look at this. And, uh, and this girl walks up to me. and She goes, "I'm a cheerleader, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want to know if you would like to buy some chocolate for five bucks." And I said, "For charity?" She was like, "For charity? It's going to go to pay for my cheerleaders to go to the beach for the first time or something." And I'm like, "Okay, I don't care." <laughs> Uh, was that it? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, you that was your story. That's yeah. right. Okay. <laughs> the You're getting my story confused. This is the I had street? someone a few years ago okay. that was that was asking, selling chocolate bars. They want to go to the beach for the first time. Mm -hmm. Boogie got confused and thought that was his story. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I'm at a convention. Do you know the last time I slept? Today's Saturday. Do you know the last time I slept? Tuesday. Okay. Oh, All right. The only thing keeping me alive are, are these secret cheerleader chocolate bars. Okay. <laughs> Sending ladies to the beach. Yeah. I forgot. I uh, which are free, I thought. In yeah. California. It's just it's healthy because it has almonds in it. Yeah, it is. It's, that means it's healthy. Right? You know, anything with nuts is good. Oh yeah, I've eaten more than my share of nuts. Okay, that's how I pay my way through college. Nuts and dots. Really? Oh, nuts and dots. Eat, nut, eat nuts and dots. <laughs> oh my God. But Some secret run? chocolate. Here, enjoy the secret chocolate. Enjoy. That's that's my gift to you. I got another one. It was two for five bucks. So enjoy your free chocolate. That's okay. You can keep it. I want you to have it. Yeah. Whoa. This took me way back to the 90s right here. Old school Tamagotchi things. Remember those things you had to like try to like, you know, keep them alive and keep them fed? And they would shit and then feed them and they would shit and feed them and they'd bounce around. That yeah. Dude, how many of you guys in the comments right now that are, that are watching this video remember Tamagotchi? Like, I'm thinking of, how much are those? Oh, dude, 150 bucks, 100 bucks? Wait a minute. We're still over here at the Expo right now. And I gotta tell you, probably one of my most oh, okay. favorite games I played growing up was Goldeneye ever uh, like one of my favorites like I used to but playing it by yourself is not as fun as playing it with others I mean, it had a good story mode but that is the best multiplayer or at least it changed multiplayer yeah I mean, yeah this was the, yeah, the guys let me know down below what is one of your favorite multiplayer uh, 64 games down below but this one right here was one of my jams man, yeah, man. that and Smash Brothers was cool but check this out everyone they have a free play arcade in here all these different hundreds of games in here uh, you can play uh, for free, like old school Donkey Kong uh, that these people are playing down here. Everything is free play. Like you don't need to get tokens or anything. I, I think that's pretty cool, man. Dude, do you see what they have over here? What, what, what do they have? What do they got? This is like the mecca for me. What, X-Men? All, all of these dudes, so fucking Turtles oh. in Time. Yeah, we got Turtles in Time. We got the four player X-Men. Yeah. We got the Sun. Oh, dude, these are all, dude, I remember this one. Yeah. Oh, dude! The Simpsons one! Dude, those are all like the greatest games. Arcade games, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 dude. Like, I know my, my dad and everything, oh, and my family grew up with like Galaga and like yeah. Pac Man. Yeah. But like stuff like The Simpsons and the Turtles in Time. Those four oh. player experiences, dude. Like, like speed em ups. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that was the shit right there, dude. Yeah. And I, I haven't seen this like game thing in a long time. So rad. And check this out, guys. Everyone busting caps in their different video games that they're playing here at this convention. Don't worry, these guns are fake. They're not real. Cops, leave these guys alone. Leave these guys alone. And we even have Adam the Woo over there. He's playing and vlogging at the same time. He must be a master at Popeye, because anybody that can vlog and play a game 
and win is a master. Video games galore throw over this table right here and in boxes on the ground. I'm so glad I'm not a super crazy gamer these days, but so cool to peruse and uh, just look through the old school memories, man. Excuse me, cool duder? Oh, sorry. I thought I thought you were someone I knew. Sorry, I thought you were someone named Sean. Sorry. That looked like. Looked like Sean. Yeah. Was that him? Dude, he's got the same shoes. As and he has that same profile and everything. What? He, he put him out, but I just see him behind the head. I'm about no. And also he turns around. A little bit. I know. I told you. I know. I know. And as we're leaving the convention, Michael Jackson himself is holding the door for people. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. The con is now over, and now the little posse that we have left over here uh, is going to where? I believe Boogie said we're going to the Red Lion Tavern. Okay. And meet up with some other folks. Some other... Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of along for the ride, yeah, even though I think I got recruited to drive. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. Yeah, but I think I think me and Andrew are going to meet you up over there. Yeah. So, uh, so I'll, we'll meet you guys there. All right, buddy. The Red Lion Tavern. Tavern. Okay. Let's see how the night unfolds. Let's do this. Who knows? Oh. Who knows? Who knows what this is gonna take who us? Who knows what celebrity will find in the middle of the street? Hey, who knows, dude? It could be maybe Reginald Val Johnson again. Losing his car? Maybe. Losing my car? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, we made it on over to the Red Lion Tavern. We're going up in there to meet up Adam and Boogie. So let's go see what happens. Andrew, what is going on? What is going on? I don't know, man. Look at the size of this thing. I don't know. Who's gonna... Dude, Adam, who's gonna eat that whole pretzel? Adam ordered it. Are you gonna take a bite? Did you, you order the pretzel? No. This is, this is for the table. Everybody yeah. eats this. Well, there's no exactly. way. What is that? Okay. It's called the pretzel platter. And it's got all kinds of little German cheeses and meats. Huh. And flavors. How cool is this? Right? Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know they had that. That's cool. Right here. Deli meats? Oh. There's deli meats? <laughs> deli meats? <laughs> deli meats? My man's packing. Yeah, man. <laughs> Heavyweights reference. Bow. Boogie, what are you doing, man? What's going on? I'm eating my vegetables. You guys told me to eat my vegetables, right? So yeah, well, yeah, you ate that cookie earlier, so you better eat your vegetables now, sir. This is how you eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge piece of cauliflower. Yeah, it is. You better finish it all, sir. It does a body good. Oh my God. Get it. Get it. Don't choke on the cauliflower. Oh shit. Hey Andrew man, what did you end up getting? I got the fucking schnitzel, dude. The schnitzel? See, everyone thinks it's a fucking wiener schnitzel, they think it's a hot dog. Yeah. Schnitzel is just basically fried meat. Fried meat, okay. Wiener normally is veal. Yeah. Veal schnitzel, this is just chicken schnitzel. What, what about you, Adam, what'd you get, man? I went with the roast beef sandwich. Roast beef yeah. sandwich, oh yeah, boy. I just ended up getting, uh, you know, a Caesar salad. It was gonna be chicken, but I guess I don't have chicken no more. But eh, a Caesar salad nonetheless. Eric, 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 Eric. Hey, Boogie. Boogie, they want you over there. They want you to try it. What? They want you to try it, I think. I think they want you to, I, dude, I think they want you to try the boot. I couldn't even do the soda. Come on, man, let's go, Boogie. Come on, man, you have to try it. You have to try the boot, man. Not a chance. Did you get it? Lost boots! I, th I think we got Boogie to do it. Not a Boogie. chance. I just got gas for five I can't, I couldn't drink half of oh, oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. right uh, oh, what's up, Boogie? Oh, what's up? Boogie! Have you, Boogie! Have you, Boogie! 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 You're not gonna hey, do it. Y'all need a fit, right? How many you got? Three? I don't know. How many you got? Hey, you, you two and, and James. James is gonna do it. Hey, I'll try it if you need it. You're in. I'm in. What about you? Dude, what am I doing right now? Three. Let's go. Let's go.
close. It was close. That's what Molly Shore said. Ultra. And we just uh, lost it. Yeah, what we did, we did. Um, there are a bunch. There are a bunch of fucks. Yeah, but uh, but it's all right. I, I'm like a first time drinker, but I think I held my own a little. Yeah, I, I tried. Yeah, I tried. All right, guys, the party's coming to an end. I think I'm getting kind of like lightheaded and weird because like I haven't drunk anything. Yeah, you literally drank half a gallon of beer. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Right? Yeah. But, but, what is going on with you and Adam Lavoie? You guys got serious We're dating. You guys? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's nice. So nice. Yeah, something. What's going on with you guys? Really, it was nice meeting you, man. Adam, I love you. Yeah, you did. I thought, I thought you loved me too. I love anybody right now. I had, I had half a Mountain Dew. I'm drunk. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, brother. Nice meeting you, man. Thanks for hanging out. Keep that weight off. Yeah, man. I'm going to do what I can do. You, yeah. you do the same thing. Keep at it. See you later, brother. See you, man. Bye. Hey, Adam, man. I'll see you later, brother. Did you get any of that for your vlog with me down in that stuff? We just missed an arm wrestling competition that happened back there. Hey, it's okay. I think me and my buddy got to get out of here. And I got to watch the over the top action. I mean, yeah, no. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, man, we should, we should hang out too, man. All right, later, Adam. Did I? Just like do like a DOS boot or beer, beer fest. You just beer fest it. I just DOS boot. Yeah, with fucking James Ralph, the fucking angry video game nerd on my team. And I think John Blue Riggs was yeah. your tag team partner also yeah. from Metal Jesus Crew. Yeah, that was Jesus, cool. man. Yeah, man, that was pretty uh, I just sort of did that because on, on the spur of the moment it was just something fun, something weird. But uh, guys, let's get to the car and we'll show you guys the cool stuff that we picked up. All right, everyone, we're finally back in the car. The night. Is coming to an end. Well, first, of, yeah, it started with the day, it started with the afternoon, and now it's the night. It's yeah. the day. It's night. You spend the whole day with the wet one. But now we're about to show you guys what we picked up at this convention. Yes, this sir. guy blew his wad uh, today. But uh, you want to show him what you picked up? I picked up two vintage TMNT. These are reissues that came out later, but this original Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, you said they came out back in the 90s? Yeah, these are like these are the original like ones from the '80s, but like yeah. the molds. But these are released on newer cards from the '80s. So yeah, uh, yeah, good deal on these. That's and, cool. Yeah, he's been collecting action figures and stuff for a long time. A lot of wrestlers, though, right? Mostly. Yeah, mostly wrestlers. Team NT, like stuff like that. I'm a fucking nerd. I love it all. And, and I'm, I'm gonna show you two things I got here. Then before he shows you some games, you got it. Uh, I ended up picking up the AV, you know, the Angry Video Game Nerd X. Uh, Blu-ray has like his first hundred. Uh, you know, episodes on it, which he signed for me right here, which I think is, you know, super cool, man, because I used to be really into the video, you know, angry video game nerd, you know, when I first started getting on YouTube and watching his, you know, rants on, like, old, like, bad video games, oh, like yeah. the Karate Kid video game, and, <laughs> you know, the, uh, what's it called, Friday the 13th video game, all that kind of shit, love it, and of course, I got uh, from my buddy Mark Torgel, you know, the original Melvin from Toxic Avenger, Toxic Tutu, which you guys can get now on DVD, which I have a link for. Hell yeah. Hopefully in the description box of this video by now. Oh, I also got uh, the Goonies 2 game. They had they had it for 10. The guy said, oh, I'll do 5 for you. So I got this. It's probably just going to be a piece to put on my shelf or whatever. I don't know if I'm really going to play it. I do have an NES at home. Oh, nice. But I got the Goonies 2 game because the Goonies is my favorite movie of all time. So, yeah. So the other thing I got is... Um that's yours, I think, is I picked up some sealed video games, so it's like, what the fuck is the point of a sealed video game, but I'm a nerd, I like collecting this shit, they're like artifacts to me, and uh, I just, yeah, so first one I got is for the Super Nintendo, it's cool spot, so I don't know if you guys remember, in the 90s, 7up had this cool spot icon, mm. and back in the 80s and 90s, basically everything became a video game, so like the Domino's Noid became a video game, the Kool-Aid Man became a, vi a video game, and cool spot for Seven Up became a video game. Yeah, and this is a pretty fun platformer. Mm. Uh, platformers are pretty much one of my favorite styles of uh, and genres of video games. Mm -hmm. Now this, '90s kids will know, and mm -hmm. '64 fans, this game, boom. With okay. WCW versus NWO Revenge. Revenge. So, dude, I mean, if you people know, mm. even non wrestling fans love this fucking game because. Mm -hmm. Like you were talking about GoldenEye earlier, this changed multiplayer. You can play for hours with your friends, mm -hmm. and it's just so fucking fun. Did you ever play this? I think I did. I think I have that at home, just not in the case. Oh, dude, yeah. So you know what's up. Yeah. Like, this is, oh, dude. Golden era stuff right here, guys. Yeah, man, but that's pretty much all yeah. we uh, picked up today. He spent a couple hundred dollars. Oh, hey, what? Shit. Shut oh, shit. But uh, there's a special bag right here of uh, some stuff I want to give you here. Uh, one... It's some, some stuff that you asked me to pick up for you a oh, couple months ago. Oh, motherfucker, dude. When, uh, when uh, Walmart was having a, a day, a, you know, these, these on sale, the, the retro VHS Blu-ray, 
You know, Dude. slip covers of uh, Who Met Harry Crumb and uh, Kroll. Shit, man. Bam, Are bro. you serious? Yeah, man. Guys, we've never seen this. This is a fun one. Yeah. John Candy, you can't go wrong. Yeah, these are all put out. Those, one, those ones are both put out by Mill Creek and stuff. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, Holy I was holding shit. on for those. You asked me to pick those up for you a while Dude, back. Thanks, brother. I, well, I remember this. I remember you, this is the only one that you said you saw. I didn't know you got this one, too. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Wow. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No Thanks worries, man. Out. But one last thing. You already have this movie in your collection. What are you doing, bro? But now you got to sign one, bro. What? To, no way. To Andrew from Shut uh, up, Aaron dude. Schwartz, bro. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> there you go, man. Because I know it's one of your favorite movies of all time, too. Dude, I would watch this every summer when I got babysat at my grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. Every summer. And it just... Because I never got to go to summer camp. Yeah. So I live vicariously through this movie. Yeah, that dude. I live vicariously through that one. And the Ernest Goes to Camp. Hell, yeah. And, um... Uh, camp Nowhere, like my dude, three favorite like camp kind of movies. Same man, same dude. This is incredible, man. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. I had no idea about this. Yeah, man. Because in the video when I met Aaron Schwartz, I even gave him that little, uh, you know, camp, you know, Perkis power pin. That we he, he made that pin. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you know, I you know, got you in that. Dude, you got that. That's uh, cool. Thanks, homie. I need to give you another pen now, though. <laughs> Maybe it's okay. And one last thing, guys. I want to talk about this. Uh, I have a GoFundMe page going on. Aaron set it up. Uh, we were talking about it for a while about making it out and about the movie part two going back to Las Vegas with Gabriel, Aaron, and maybe some other of the crew members. And that uh, we have a GoFundMe page uh, right now. And if you guys like the very first out and about movie, uh, check it out. I have a link for it down below. But uh, we're gonna be we're trying to see if we can raise funds to make another one uh, for you guys. We're bigger and better and exploring Las Vegas. And if any of you, any of you guys are interested, check out the GoFundMe page down below. But we really do appreciate all you guys' support, even if you don't want to donate. Just give this video a thumbs up and a comment. We still all love you, and we'll see you guys all Flip next, side. next time. Flip side. Let's go. Later. Yeah. <laughs>